Welcome to this short tutorial on the route scheduler. To get started, head to the Engineers section on the left pane and click Route Schedule. This screen will display a map of the United Kingdom and Ireland. You can navigate around the map by clicking and dragging to move around, and using the mouse wheel or the controls in the bottom right to zoom in and out. By default, this will show all the engineer routes and jobs for today's date, but we can choose to look at a different day by selecting the date in the top right corner and picking a day from the calendar. We can make the map full screen by pressing the box icon in the top right and refresh the data by pressing the refresh button. You will see pins on the map, with the person pins showing engineers, and the tool pins showing jobs to be scheduled. We can search for specific jobs by using the search box on the left underneath the tool bar. In order to start scheduling routes, we need to first select an area from the top left of the screen. This list will show the areas you currently have set up in your system. You will be able to select one or multiple different areas to view. When we select an area, the map will zoom to that region automatically to give a better view of jobs and engineers in that area. We can also choose to filter for specific trades. If you click the Engineers button, we can see a list of all matching engineers on the left, showing their address and their working hours. Likewise, if we click the Jobs button, we can see a list of jobs that need to be scheduled. If we press the Route Schedule button this will show all the current engineers that match the criteria you've selected, with a timeline of their day. The play icon indicates the start of the engineer's day and the house icon indicates the end of the engineer's day, based on what is set up against that engineer's working hours. Any visits that have been completed will show a tick. Now if we click on an engineer, a window will open on the right showing the engineer's route for the day, including jobs they have already been scheduled to. At the bottom of this window, you can see the total number of jobs the engineer is currently scheduled to, the total working hours for the day which includes travel time, and the total miles the engineer will be covering in the current route. With an engineer selected, when we hover over a job, we get the option to add. This will add that job to the engineer's current schedule. At this point we can supply a duration for the job, which will help JobLogic to calculate the engineer's route accurately. We can move jobs around in the schedule by clicking and dragging on the dots to the right of the job. Then we need to press Calculate at the bottom of the engineer's schedule, which will then update the route, total working hours and total miles to include the newly added job. We then need to press Update Route at the bottom right to commit these changes to the route. As you can see, now the Route Schedule box has appeared at the bottom of your screen, which will have been updated to include the newly scheduled jobs. If we want to then deploy the updated schedule to the engineer's mobile, we can press the Batch Deploy button in the lower right. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. 